into two things at once anymore. I used to be able to do it very quickly. And I lose my balance sometimes. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's all about restoring vitality, right? I'll be back. So in the last video, I tried to record Walker as much as possible, but I was wobbly and as you can tell in the video, and I started to peter out a little bit, so I wanted to go back to the house and kind of recalibrate. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm grateful you're here watching this. Uh, it's been very hard for me. I, I'm coming on as natural as possible. I've never, even without makeup, has have looked this, you know, watery eyes and, and gray and just... I just I just I'm just not myself so and the hair loss is like right around all back here it's not balding yet and it won't because I'm stopping it in its tracks but um it's, very thin. it's extremely thin it's and scalp. uh being in Florida in the sun I also don't want I want to be mindful not to burn my scalp so um, that's the main reason why I'm going to be wearing these a ton in the videos. Um, but you can see your scalp. Well, yeah, you can see my scalp. From the hair. Multiple you areas. Can see right to the scalp. Yeah. Looking right at you. Yeah. Without having to look on top of your head. So, it yeah. Is a, it is a, a lot of hair loss. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I'm going to um, do this video with Walker talking about really interesting topic which is the word ritual because if you watched my very first video where I disclose what's been going on I talked about me getting away from for a while myself my higher self my divine connection I've never lost connection to God or divine but in terms of my higher self my future self that highest vibrational self I've sort of pushed away for a while and I stopped my rituals uh, my practices and things because of life because I got into survival mode and I was you know struggling a lot in the last little over two years but mainly in the last year especially the last three months so and to add to that you know for someone that really didn't have the ability to work you worked every damn day yeah you, i mean you want to talk about survival you know owning businesses we, we, we work we 16 work to 18 every, hour days yeah, 16 to 18 hour days and you know you were like i don't <clears throat> and that's another thing is like you know you say you didn't have the ability to work but you, 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 you tried so even not having the energy or the ability to work, you've been working nonstop. You haven't stopped working, you know? And it's just until recently when things started to get very serious, you know, health-wise, you had to slow down. You know? Well, it's not just that, my mental health. My mental health was taking a major toll on me. Um, and it was doing so much for everyone else. Yeah, uh, was, everyone was still draining me. So concern with everyone else, where are they at? How are they doing? Is everyone taken care of? Yeah. So we're going to talk for a brief second here about just explain what Walker's take is on spiritual practice. So when I say she said, you know, she's never lost her connection with God, and I can say. Neither have I, but it sure I sure have been in spaces where I felt like I did. At least I created the illusion that I was separate. And so much of the spiritual community, new age community, everything is spiritual communities that we talk about. The mindset is, is this is a spiritual practice. That's not a spiritual practice. This is spiritual, that's not spiritual. So when someone says, oh, I'm into spirituality, they say, oh, so you must do yoga, you probably are into crystals, you probably are into Reiki. In spell work. Yeah, yeah. And I, 
and even spirituality within a religious sense you know people have their you know they say their hail marys they 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 do penance they 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 read the bible whatever it is is a spiritual practice has been defined to only a certain segment of a very controlled very organized system and it really has taken the spirit out of the ritual it, it's it's just turned it into a ritual made it ritualistic so we put so what are we doing so when you were talking about slowing down earlier right being present you know there's a certain level of mindfulness right it's about being mindful but where is the stillness in being mindful where is the surrender in that being present is allowing yourself to put the spirit back into the ritual. That every moment that you can be aware of whatever you're doing, whether it's drinking coffee, it's going for a walk, it's being in nature, it's having a conversation, you are engaging in a spiritual practice. You are engaging in a spiritual ritual every time you're present that you are having a human experience as a spiritual being. You can never not do something that isn't spiritual. You can't. Now, you can label it or define it or turn it into whatever you want, but if you're a spiritual being, a true empathic human, having this human experience, Everything you do when you realize your connection to yourself, to others, to the planet, that becomes the spirit in the ritual. Your presence becomes the ritual, and you put the spirit into it. So what are we doing today, right now? We are earthing right now, um, removing the positive ions from electricity and cell phone use and you know, producing music, I'm on the computer and I have my headphones on and I'm, I'm disconnected from outside sound. So I just have a, a certain signal coming in and, okay. and, and various forms of that frequencies. So it's very important, just for general, as we said before, about 15 minutes, try to go a little longer than that for proper blood flow because it can thin the blood and allow more oxygen to get to your body oxygen is is the biggest uh, it's the most powerful medicinal um component in in life and so uh but it's about moving energy we do this to move energy the main thing is moving out doubts fears questions uh uh, uh the the mindset that gets very entrenched in the day-to-day when we come out here and we put our feet on the bare ground, we're, we're pushing all those positive ions out, but we're also kind of releasing or downloading. See, I've never been much for when people say, oh, go ground into the into the earth and anchor yourself. That's never been something- I don't either. That I've I been never, really never. Uh, keen to do. Now the earth star chakra, which is below the feet, I can talk as loud as I want because I live here. How about that? <clears throat> Walker has a high vibratory voice. So, essentially what people say is I'm getting downloads from the universe, I'm getting downloads. I never really bought into that. I reversed it and put, I'm downloading the things I don't like about myself, insecurities, my, my, my illusion of separation, who I think I am. I'm gonna give it to the mother. I'm gonna download it into the mother earth and in, into, the, into the, the, the Terran frequency, what I call the crystalline grid. Downloading that in there allows me to release everything into the crystalline grid. What that uptake happens is ease. We were talking earlier about the uh, fight or flight, right? the autonomic system going into full swing and basically all the other non-essential organs shutting down in order to allow only what is needed to for survival in the moment but most people don't ever come out of that see it's a, it, it was a, a good system to have to kind of switch 
when there was yeah. danger and then switch back out when the danger was gone. But because the cortisol levels and the adrenals are so shot from the stress levels and from the saturation of the mind, the, there's an inability for people to switch that system off. And they burn out their adrenals, then the, the food that they're consuming is not, um, it's not a good proponent uh, it's not a, 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 a good components to vitality. So then their immune system goes down as well. So their immune system is already compromised. So essentially what we go out here is we download uh, like our, our computerized brain, right? We just kind of download everything. We, we drop that consciousness down into the solar below the heart and then just like push everything out. So what at the earth star chakra, we'll push that down in there and let the earth handle it. And then something really interesting happens, right? Mm -hmm. We start to notice, it, and, and this is the, 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 the caveat to that is, when I was going through physiology classes in college, I wanted to be a personal trainer. I don't know if they teach it in textbooks now, but the first book that I saw said, the definition of health was the absence of dis-ease. And I, I never forgot that, and I always thought about that over and over. And I said, what if health is the natural state of a human being? And everything that's doing it is a, it, it is a constant grinding resistance required, like 24-7, required to keep us in dis-ease. What if the body's natural state is healthy? Like, what if the body just heals itself when given enough proper nutrients and, and uh, proper resources, basically? Back to source, back to source energy. So something really interesting happens is if we're having kind of a foggy day, like we woke up and, and maybe we didn't sleep as good or maybe there was disruption. When we come out here and we kind of release all our questions and all our problems, People say, release it to the universe. I, I, I release it to the mother nurturing energy. Like, here's my problems. Here's my issues. Here's, here's my doubts. And the crazy thing happens is that as we're being re, as this, we're, we're now uploading this higher vibrational thing from the source energy, we're filling up our battery. We start to feel better. We start to feel more energized, but then our thoughts our mental health starts to change. You notice that, right? Mm -hmm. You can tell, yeah. right? You can tell when if you don't go out on ground, you can tell Instantly. you're not earthing. Instantly. 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 And can you speak a little bit to how that's assisted you in this process with the, the labeling of what you might have and the dis-ease and all of these things? Well, for me, it started to become this issue, this challenging issue of other people's beliefs because I've always sort of hid in the dark any time I was going through something or something happened to me until it got to a, a crucial point in my life where I felt compelled to share or that I was comfortable enough to share. And even in the event of this situation, uh, you know, I had to shift my mental health away from other people's beliefs and perceptions and what they think. And um, it's just very saturating to some high vibrational beings energy. And me being so connected to the divine, it can really hijack you. So this earthing we do keeps me very neutralized in my energy and thoughts very you know it dissipates the intrusive thoughts it allows me to be one with my higher self and say it doesn't freaking matter it doesn't i don't care what other people believe i just I, I never really did but i noticed in the last couple of years my belief of that perception of how others perceived me became a problem and I was never like that before. But when you start to have immune changes and you start to feel imbalanced and you start to feel misaligned, it's very easy to get hijacked. 
and it'll be another video i don't want to go into it here because this is more about what we're doing with our earthing and how when we don't do it i can instantly feel the next day different instantly it's like it's like i'm just i'm like out of balance and, and, and that's so the, that's the good point there is when i had mentioned mindfulness <laughs> and stillness <laughs> Excuse me. This is the longest I've gone without coughing is when I'm outside, by the way. Talk about fresh air. Right. The stillness that we get from earthing is very different from mindfulness, and it actually allows us to be more fully charged mindfully, meaning more efficient in our thinking, more efficient in, like, being able to, like, instead of running this endless burnout what I found is I can get more done with 20% of my time. You mean earthing? I said earthing. Oh, I just, I wanted to make sure. From earthing, it creates a natural stillness because your body starts to ground all of this, these radical, uh, free radicals and all these ions bouncing all around from electricity and your thoughts and all this stuff. And it puts your body at ease. And when it puts your body at ease, it puts your mind at ease. So the stillness with what you, you know, teach in the mindfulness and stillness meditations and things, the stillness that you get puts your body at ease, which puts your mind at ease and allows the computerized brain and the programming to, to pause and allow all of the, that programming and those thoughts and things. And this is what we teach in the in the chakra system reboot. So this is this is an additional thing that you can add to the earthing. And the mindfulness stillness. And the mindfulness stillness. Uh, and breath work uh, is in, in the, the divine, divine quest. quest, part of the Solation series. And the, the, the Solation series with the divine quest, with the addition of the um, chakra system reboot, they work hand in hand. And the chakras are that alignment system. Those are, this is, when we talk about rhythm and vibration, we're creating the natural, they could talk about the circadian rhythm. We're, we're creating our, we're setting our biological clocks back to the natural rhythm. Everything's out of alignment. So when we talk about the chakras, we're talking about the rhythm of these spheres. We want the spheres to all be in this synchronistic rhythm. And how does that work with earthing? That's what I'm saying. With earthing, it's, it's taking that vibration of where these if you think of these spheres like these they're set they're, they have their own little timing it it's it resets all that timing or reboots all that timing and allows where the energy is stored to create the belief systems of the vibration and frequency which projects out our reality to ease to, to ease up to move to uh, essentially ground that energy out in to the mother earth and that allows an alignment in the chakras at least temporarily and allows that freeing of the energy with our mindsets it allows other outside of the belief system thoughts to kind of come in and that's what I'm talking about of when we download all of that stuff we essentially don't like about our life or, or, or who we are or whatever and we put that give it to the mother what we get back is our higher self vibration not from up here in the universe from our connection here with the planet with the earth with the with the the um, crystalline grid when we try to download things from the matrix net we're going to get biofeedback loops which looks like they're helping us or assisting us but then they they end up dredging up a lot of loops creating these programs that run our lives 95 percent of our lives are run by subconscious programming so when we release that subconscious programming to the earth we actually get conscious levels of programming and the chakras are able to realign enough for us to see or to have that awareness in our mindset of where we might be blocked in those chakras or where they might not be aligned. Perfect. Beautifully said. Now it's time for us to get to our earthing.